Okay, folks, well, the next installment of the Helium Hotspot uh, mast installation has, uh, has now commenced. I have got the bottom section of the mast, which is uh, three metres in height. It's now been secured at the base and also uh, at the, the top. Um, there are another four extensions, uh, each one being three metres, so the total height of this mast is 15 metres or 50 foot. Um, now I'm actually still not convinced that I'm going to utilize the full extent of this mast but that's something that I'll experiment with uh, once, uh, once my helium hotspot actually arrives which unfortunately uh, I'm in the Nebra batch 4 so it's not likely to arrive here until uh, probably sometime around August is, is my guess. But let me just show you up on the roof here. Uh, what we have got and the view and the coverage that uh, my helium hotspot will be looking out over. Uh, now taking into account that right now this is literally at roof height so I already have pretty well uninterrupted views uh, out for many kilometres uh, looking in what is primarily a, a, like a westerly that's north over there uh, that's west over there, and then we've got south down there, and obviously east is that way. So my coverage is pretty much in a north-westerly to a uh, south-westerly type of arc. But looking back here to, to the mast, which at this point is 1.5 metres above my roof here, and I have another, uh, obviously another significant amount of height to go on there which will put it way up there. Once it's at that height uh, my my hope is the fact that I will be able to um, access over the top of that ridge which opens up uh, my hotspot to cover uh, many of the hotspots in the Brisbane, Brisbane suburbs. Uh, at this stage uh, from the roof height uh, I won't be able to hit that far uh, and distance wise to the city is approximately 15 to 20 kilometers. Uh, there is a significant batch or uh, block of uh, planned hotspots for that area um, and that's my objective is just to experiment with this location here and see just how good I can get this coverage. Uh, it may turn out in another 12 months time that I've dropped this down to maybe uh, maybe 10 meters uh, and I'm, already, I'm getting the maximum coverage that I get at 10 metres. I don't know. Uh, I'll also be trialling my 3 dBi, 5.8 dBi and 8 dBi antenna, all of which are, are here. Actually, the 3 dBi is still coming with the Nebra units. Uh, in this particular area that we're looking at is the suburb or the area, if you like, of Logan. Uh, and there are uh, approximately 8 planned hotspots for this general vicinity down there that is all within five kilometers. Uh, of those eight, the other four are actually mine uh, and I will be placing them in various locations. I've got one going down there in Meadowbrook, I've got one going over just over the hill there in Springwood. Uh, I did have one going up over the hill there but unfortunately that person's moved. I also have one down there in, uh, in Bean Lee. Uh, this tree here unfortunately blocks the view, but obviously with the antenna height it will be going over the top of that. There is uh, a, let's see if I can walk over to the other side of my roof here. Uh, you'll notice that there is a suburb over here, it's called Mount Warren Park, and as the name suggests, it's a, a hilly area. Uh, and I have two locations over there in mind to place uh, my further two hotspots. Um, now, at this stage, they haven't been confirmed, it's just a general area, and I need to start reaching out through family and friends to see if I can find anybody that knows anybody up there uh, before I need to extend to maybe social media marketing or letterbox drops in the specific streets that I'm looking at. So anyway, this is the area that I will be placing my hotspot on when it finally arrives. But for now, the job is to get my off-grid system, which is currently sitting down in the backyard there, uh, in beside that fence that you can't see. Uh, I'm going to 
plant it on that post there and just test the solar panel where I'm getting good sun. Unfortunately at this time of day that palm tree there causes me a bit of grief but that's fine. I really, I really only expect that I'm going to need four or five hours of good sun a day uh, to keep my battery charged. Um, it's a proof of concept at the moment. Obviously my final placements uh, I'll be making sure that I minimise uh, shade as much as I can. Or I could always just tap into my off-grid system on the roof here. <laughs> Six kilowatts. I think I can probably power it from there. Okay, guys, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if this is the first time you've dropped into my channel, I'm Helium Down Under. My name is Ian, uh, south, south side of Brisbane. We're looking to build the People's Network here, uh, and we're going to have uh, an incredible network. So please hit the subscribe if you're not uh, already subscribed to my channel. I'd really appreciate a like. Uh, that's great for the uh, YouTube algorithm so that I can get the this good information that I plan on distributing to uh, my Australian, New Zealand, Pacific nations and, well, the world in general for anybody that's interested. Okay, guys, have a great day and cheers from down under.